Hello and welcome to the final game of the season between Avoncroft and Redditch. Avoncroft won the toss and decided to bowl. As we pick up the action, um, we've missed the wicket taken by Dan Elliott. Uh, the opener, Shahid, went for just one run and um, Josh is bowling up the hill. If we look at the table at the start of this game, it shows how crucial the points will be. Avoncroft really need uh, to win this game, albeit Old Hill have got a, a, a mountain to climb. As uh, the Vigorians are playing Rushwick, however, it does mean that Vigorians, Rushwick, Avoncroft and Old Hill are all in the running for that 11th spot and relegation. Similarly, at the top of the league, it's choose two from three with Harborn and Alvechurch in the box seat for promotion, albeit Barter Street um, are still in the running if they can get 20 points today. So all in all, a pretty crucial game for the Croft. Dan's opening the bowling from the top because Paul is carrying a bit of a niggle and did want to use up the new ball and is keeping it reasonably tight at the moment. It seems pretty clear that Redditch have come out with an aggressive approach, trying to get some runs on the board, board as soon as they can. Big swing there. Edge. He's going to drift down to third man, just keep that to the single. Not had a great deal of luck against Redditch in the last couple of years, so hopefully we can turn that around today. I think last season in a low scoring game, where it was about 120 each, we ended up with a tie. And over at their place, uh, beginning of this season, we lost the game, albeit it was quite close. So, Dan in again from the top. Shorter ball bit of aggressive, got out of the way. From the bottom then, Josh continuing, very tight spell from Josh at the minute, not really going for many runs at all. some good pressure here. Redditch continuing with their aggressive approach but uh, hopefully that will mean they lose some early wickets and we can keep the score down as low as possible. Some of these batsmen are on borrowed time here. Josh bowling some excellent lines, putting them under some good pressure. Oh, that's so unlucky. Slip didn't quite get a hand on it. He's gone for four. Josh showing a bit of frustration there, but I feel the wicket is going to be coming any time now. That's been really struggling to get anything on these uh, deliveries from Josh. Little bit straighter from Josh there. Allowing him to flick that one off his pads.
Dan continuing from the top. Just nudging that one away. Field is running in. That's drifted away for four runs. Dan in again. Close. Feel there's a wicket coming here soon from either Dan or Josh as these batsmen are swinging, playing at most of the deliveries at the moment. again. I could get away with that one I think. Just outside the off stump but that was being noodled away for a single. Josh from the bottom again. Pressure's building on these batsmen. Absolutely hammered that. It's gone away for four runs. Right down to the roadside boundary. Josh in again. Clipped up. Caught by Dan. What a wicket. I think that one's worth another look in slow mo. Josh in. Dan. Lovely catch. Yeah. So that sees the end of the opener, Lokanath, for 21 runs and brings the wicketkeeper, Java, to the crease. Josh continuing to build some pressure from the bottom. So Dan from the top. Continuing that aggressive line. No run there. LBW chance, but not given. Felt it was drifting down late. Josh continuing on that very good line and length, causing the, the batsman problems. Feel again another wicket is coming. Keeper not looking that comfortable. Skiddy bowling action. Yeah. Away, caught behind. It's the wicket keeper Java gone for none. Another wicket to Josh. Clearly continuing that aggressive approach and the new batsman in uh, Moyhuddin I think is one of their first team players, ordinarily a first team bowler, um, but I think he's going to come in with a bit of an aggressive approach today. 
So that one slipped through the keeper's legs and ran away for four. Joe Ingle there, just picking up the ball. So, Dan in from the top, flicked off his legs. One. Down in again. Oh, very close. Big appeal. Got out again. That seems right up for a bit of an aggressive bowling today. Goes again. It's a lovely shot for none. Tidied up by PA. And that'll bring Josh back for another over from the bottom. Buoyed by his two wickets so far. Set that one away. Off to the boundary. Just run away from the boundaries, unfortunately. Still, the way that Josh is bowling at the moment, there's some more wickets still in the locker. Ooh. That one bounced up a bit. Keep the bats from guessing. deep there, keeping that down to one run. That brings the end for it over and down in from the top. Oh, very straight today for an LBW with the league umpire. Down in again. Flicked off his pads. Always a danger when you do bowl straight to get flicked away for four runs. I'm really not very happy with that. In again. Got a bit straighter again. Flicked off his pads again. Just the two this time. Dan continuing down that line, but shorter this time, pulled away. No run. Slower ball. Bad may have picked that. Smashed that back up to a long off four or four runs. I suspect that's the end of Dan's spell this time and Paul will probably come back on from the top. So from the bottom, Josh continuing. Big swing and a miss. Matt Palmer there ready to take the stumps if necessary. Still keeping it tight. Flick that down the offside there for one run. Big swings still coming from the batsman here. So Paul now change at the top. Give the batsman something else to think about. single there. That ball rushed the batsman a fair 
a bit. I don't think he really fancies ball, Paul's ball. Paul continues from the top. No run there. Rollinson. Pretty quick deliveries here. Goat there. Josh in from the bottom. Batsman coming forward. Oh, and stump. That sees the end of the captain for 14 runs. This puts the Croft in a really good position with four down and just 40 runs on the board. Josh in. Oh, he's uppish. Caught yeah. oh, oh, by Johnny. Make that five down with just 40 on the board. Puts the Croft in a very strong position to keep Redditch to a relatively low score. The aggressive approach by Redditch. Look as though it's paying off just at the minute. So, Paul continuing from the top. Into the first teamer. Very close. Oh, LBW given. That's six down. Puts Croft in a really strong position here. Maybe to even keep Redditch to a score of less than 100. Which would hopefully mean we can win this game and stay up. Paul continuing from the top. Just took that one away. One run. Starting to build a little bit of a partnership together. Cut. Oh, away. It looks as though he's going to run away to the boundary. No, just get to the one. Some top fielding in the deep from the Croft. It's a good chat in the field here from the Croft. To be right up for this game. Nothing doing from Paul coming down the hill. Joe Ingle there at short. Leg. So he's flipped that one away. Down to third man, just for the one. Always good to see Joe back in the first team. Scoring some good runs. Some top work there from Matt Palmer to keep that one down to no run. Paul bowling serious wheels down the hill today. Absolutely nailed him there. That looks painful. Not a lot of sympathy coming from the Croft. A little bit of Dan looking on. Looks in agony to be fair. Back up though. That'll be a bit more tentative against Paul's bowling down the hill. Still looks so he's walking a little bit gingerly there. That batsman. So Josh continuing for a long spell up the hill. Big shout, LBW, and that's another wicket. This is the end of Stephen DeCross for six runs. And we'll bring Nicholas Watts to the crease. Josh continuing. Tidied up by right, right down, mid wicket. No run. Josh continuing to ask questions from the bottom. 
ball will continue from the top. The scratchman's still a little bit ginger after the blow he took before. Paul keeping him with a shorter ball. Let's flip that one down to fine leg just for the single. Ball into the new batsman. Oh, that's gone right through the keeper's legs. That's probably going to run away for four buys. Scoreboard's ticking along here. Croft need to try and keep it down to less than 100. Yeah. Count. Oh, and that's gone straight through. Bold, beautiful delivery from Paul. Batsman have no answer at all. And that sees the end of Nicholas Watts without troubling the scorers. That'll bring the youngster Mohammed to the crease. Croft crowding the batsman here. Joe Ingle keeping that short leg. So Josh in from the top. Batsman Redditch still happy to swing. That's carved away for four runs. Don't seem to be that concerned with the loss of wickets as they're uh, looking to continue to score quickly. Carved another one away. That's four more. So fall in to the youngster. Fielders all around the bat. Things hurt him there, that's got him right up. Getting a bit of sympathy from Joe Engel. Paul coming down, holding some serious wheels. And a bouncer. Just to keep him on that back foot. So, Johnny changed at the top. Then he comes to the youngster. Took that one away. And he's going. Johnny in again. Lovely delivery. Just missing the top of off. And that's over. And we'll bring Josh to continue from the bottom. That's from Malik scoring quite quickly and he's heading up there. He's pushing him up to 20 odd runs. That's Redditch just passing the 100 mark. Johnny continuing on the top. Going for a lot of runs. Spread the field a little bit for Malik, who seems to be seeing it quite well at the moment. back for the youngster as Johnny continues from the top. Just looking stroke, misfield, pitch a single. Johnny from the top to Mali. Driven away. So change from the bottom, Dan taking over again, to bring a little bit more pace on from the bottom, Dan continuing into Malik, let's flip that one away, just run through for a quick single. Do with breaking this partnership if we can, Dan in to the youngster Mohammed. let's flip that one away. Pads a little bit straight. Gonna run through two. That was a nice.
nice ball from Dan. Brings the end of the over. Johnny in from the top. Crowd in the batsman. It's an absolutely beautiful shot. Running away. Looks like it might make the boundary. That's gone away for four runs. Down to long off. Absolutely lovely drive from the youngster. Johnny continuing from the top. Bouncer. Right past his head. It's keeping him honest. Keeping him on that back foot. Out. No, Nick. Okay. Some good aggression being shown by the Croft here. Oh, he's run forward onto that one. There we go. Continuing with their aggressive stance. Big swing. So Johnny in to the left hand. Big swing again. Ball's gone up. Interesting approach from Al Richardson there to take his cap off during the catch, but that's a lovely catch. He sees the end of Malik for 20 runs. So that's nine down. And Croft finish this off. Johnny into the youngster. Catch! Cover. Take that away. He's going to run away for four. four. Well, I thought he got it. Obviously, got a little bit of bat on that for four runs. So, giving it a bit of air, Al Richardson coming on first over of the day, looking to try and wrap this up for around 120, giving the ball a lot of air, Al in, couldn't resist it, beautiful, sees the end of the innings, that's all out for 122, and gives the Croft a real chance of winning this game and securing their place in the league. Pick of the bowlers, the captain, Josh, with his first 5 f 5 4 one Cracking bowling. Picking up the action of Overcross reply. Dan Elliott is already out LBW for five runs, and we have Joe Ingle and Duncan Roke at the pace. Bowler coming in from the top. He's actually a Redditch first team bowler. He's bowling absolute wheels. Play some shots. Just got a top edge on that. Run away for four runs down to third man. This guy's probably one of the quickest bowlers I've seen this season. 
firing it in. Quite difficult to get away. Albeit we've got a decent platform and a relatively low total to go for at the moment. Big shout from the keeper, but uh, nothing doing. So Joe facing the guy coming up the hill. Just a bit more of a skiddy, slower boulder. He's flipped out of his pads before runs. Beautiful shot. Joe looking pretty set here. Moving towards his uh, 20 or so runs. Flipped that one away, but again, no run. So, the quickie from the top. Absolutely fired that in. Looked like that might have hit Duncan in the body. Fired it. Oh, that's absolutely smashed him in the face. Duncan showing no pain whatsoever. That has got to hurt. I suspect Duncan's wishing he'd put the helmet on. He might go and grab himself a helmet after that. To be honest, that's absolutely smashed him in the head. So, quickly coming in again. Firing it in. Some real venom from the top. That comes up to the task. Flicks him away for a couple. We'll be careful here that we don't have a traditional croft collapse with uh, the pace of this guy coming down the hill. Maybe try and work some runs off the guy coming up. So we flicking that away. Same line as he bowled before, to be honest. A little bit straight down to the leg side and flipped away for two runs again. Bowled the same line again same result. Joe I think will flick those off his pads all day long about the time. Got it a little bit squarer and uh, flick it away for four rounds. These two ticking along nicely, building a really good platform for the cross to win this game. Well, still going down that side. Still getting flicked. That's another one to the total. Really do need to try and milk the guy coming up the hill because he's guy coming down the hill is quite difficult to get away. So Duncan facing up. Flip that away. That'll just be the one for a quick single. Good running. Looks so we just got a little bit of a tickle on that down for a single down to fine leg. Joe facing the quickie from the top. Fired that down. That's gone all the way down to third man for four runs. Absolutely beautiful shot from Joe. Again, same result. Joe facing up. 
Oh, he's bowled him. Lovely 31 runs though from Joe Ingle set us up to hopefully uh, go on and win this game. That will bring the GOAT, Ben Warwick, to the crease. Malik continuing. Big shout from the quickie, not given. In again, it's Duncan Rope. No run. Struggling to get this guy away, but he's not going to bowl too many overs, not at this sort of pace. So he's in again. Carve that one away. That's four runs. Duncan up towards 20. So we've resumed after the tea break. Duncan probably wisely uh, got the uh, the lid on, having been hit in the face earlier from the quickie coming down the hill. So Malik, the left armour, coming up the hill towards the goat. Little skiddy bowls, quite difficult to get away. Duncan, while I was changing the camera, went to the quickie coming down the hill for 21 runs and that's brought Chris Pitt to the crease. We're all well, well on the way to knocking off these runs so hopefully these two can uh, can do a job here. It's a nice single through for Chris. Makes the goat on facing the quickie coming down the hill. Lovely little shot down to the long off bowl that uh, fielded chasing in two runs to the total bringing us ever nearer that 122 score that we need to stay up firing in the short one just trying to uh, rough up the goat a little bit but he's well up to it bowl that in to Chris Pitt forward go through to the keeper and there's no run Malik into the pit man just that up in the air but that should fall short there's no run rightly not running for that one so Redditch still looking for as many quick wickets as they can we've seen us before collapse from this sort of position so they're clearly keeping their two strike bowlers on to see if they can uh, take a couple more wickets and get into our tail oh, he's absolutely fired that one in at the goat looks though like caught him on the shoulder um, but uh, he seems pretty unfazed by it some good aggressive bowling coming down the hill gone again Goat swerving out of the way. Gave the bowler a little smile. Nice to see. Top running from these two. I think we just really just need to milk the ones and twos just to get their way towards this uh, 123 total they're looking for. Nice shot from the goat. Top running.
Same line. And the goats popped him away for two more. Falling a little bit straight onto the leg side and the goat's quite happy to flick them off his pads. Now got up to just over a hundred. It looks like Redditch have given up the ghost. They've brought on their two little youngsters to bowl. And these two are milking them nicely for once. As we eke away at their score towards that elusive 123 and safety. Let's carve that one away. Side for a single. That's an absolutely beautiful drive. That's two runs. The goat looking in really good touch at the minute. Into the mid 20s and still just flicking them off his pads down to the leg side singles and twos. Bowler in to Chris. With a flash at that one but that's gone away. It's just another one to the total. Ah! And Goats played an absolutely glorious shot. He'll love to watch that one back I think. Lovely drive through for four runs. Spinner, Mohammed, misfield there. Then run the one, just keeping them ticking over. Spinner comes in again. Ben seeing everything very nicely, just playing stuff off the back foot. Picking the ones and twos, these two running well between the wickets. That's another one. The shocks are really keeping it tight with a maiden there. So the spinners at both ends. Let's pop that one off to the offside for a lovely little drive. And one more run to the total. This young lad keeping it very tight. He's just drifted that one onto the leg side and uh, Ben made short work of that. Smashing it off to the boundary for four more to the total. Chris digging that one out. And running in the single. So all we need to do now is we past 100. Just knock a few ones here and there. We should see us home. So uh, staying up. Nice shot from Ben. Always drop that one down to the leg side. Chris has clubbed it away to the boundary. So, just five runs required. Bowler in, Ben's away. And then, oh, no, it's a misfield. That's scrubbed them one. Just leaves them four runs short of the total. With the youngster bowling. Two angles for this one. Chris absolutely smashing that away. That's four runs, sees us home, 123 and a fantastic victory for the Croft. With 123 runs, sees us safe in the, lit in the table. Looking at the table however, there was some unusual results. 
Old Hill absolutely smashed Martley in the end with 23 points and as a consequence they ended up staying up to the expense of Rushwick who lost to Old Vigorians.